fans poured into Donington Park in their droves for the second outing of the 2015 Dunlop MSA British Touring Car Championship with palpable excitement and anticipation following a thrilling opening weekend at Brands Hatch. Qualifying looked set to be a Jason Plato benefit after the Volkswagen driver had demonstrated blistering pace throughout practice but he succumbed to a challenge from his team BMR stablemate Colin Turkington and Honda's Gordon Shedden, who demoted him to third on the grid as less than seven hundredths of a second blanketed the top three. At the start of race one, Turkington maintained his pole position advantage, but Plato was immediately on the move as he tucked in behind his teammate to relegate Shedden to third. The Scot tried to hang on around the outside at Redgate, but Plato held his nerve and held his position. The leader ran slightly wide through McLean's towards the end of the opening lap, and Plato needed no second invitation as he drew level through Coppice and along the back straight, and with the inside line into the final chicane, made the move stick. Shedden was next to take advantage, slicing boldly up the inside of Turkington to pinch second into the old hairpin on lap two. Turkington fought back against Shedden midway through the race, diving past on the entry to Redgate, but the Honda man repaid the favour on the exit to re-establish the status quo. A little further back, the action was fast and furious. Adam Morgan, Jack Goff and Rob Collard went three abreast into McLean's on lap 12, the latter taking full advantage of the place swapping ahead to opportunistically pass the pair of them into seventh place. The order remained the same as Plato won, chased home by Shedden and Turkington. Jordan, Sam Tordoff and Newsham were next up, with Goff just pipping Collard to seventh in a photo finish. Turkington outdragged pole sitter Shedden where the starting lights went out for race two, with Morgan settling into third. Further down the order, the young Scott Aidan Moffat got it all crossed up through the Craner curves and skated across the grass, narrowly avoiding contact. As the leaders closed up on one another, Jordan pinched third from Morgan at the end of lap one, while Prio went lawn mowing along the start finish straight. The battle for the lead intensified on lap two as Shedden got alongside Turkington on the exit of Redgate and maintained his challenge heading down the Craner curves before getting out of shape and allowing Jordan to sweep around the outside into second at the old hairpin. Jack Goff and Adam Morgan enjoyed a race-long battle but this move from Morgan relieved Shedden of third going through McLean's. Contact between Morgan and Goff, however, enabled the Hondas of Shedden and Matt Neal to slip past. It was short-lived for Shedden as his soft tyres went off and saw him fall away from the front. There was even more excitement to come as Andrew Jordan joined the battle with Neal and Morgan going three abreast into the chicane. Contact between Neal and Morgan put the Mercedes onto the grass and enabled Jordan to pass both of them before Neil reclaimed the position at the end of the start-finish straight. There was no such drama for Colin Turkington, though, who took his first win in 2015 ahead of Neil and Morgan, with Jordan hanging on for fourth ahead of Plato and Collard pipping Josh Cook to sixth by 11 thousandths of a second. The final thrilling encounter proved to be one of the best touring car races of all time with Collard's rear-wheel drive front-row starting BMW getting proceedings underway by out-accelerating the pole-sitting Chevrolet of Josh Cook as the tin-top train surged down to Turn 1. But if fans thought the Brands Hatch winner was just going to run away from the pack, they were soon proved wrong as the feisty Cook came back at Collard on lap 3. Neil, Jordan and Aaron Smith nipped past Plato in quick succession as he struggled on his soft rubber and the battle for third intensified. Neil and Jordan continued their wheel-to-wheel -wheel duel all the way down the craners, with Smith eyeing his own opportunity. Contact was made at McLean's and although Jordan collected it, the delayed MG lost out to the charging Smith. As drivers traded places and paint, this concertina and contact between Goff and Sam Tordoff at the chicane briefly brought out the safety car. 
at the restart. Smith immediately forced his way past Collard into second before proceeding to try to find a way past Leader Cook, who endeavoured to robustly defend his position. It was perhaps little surprise that it would end in contact as the train of six cars headed down the Craner curves. Aaron Smith thought his move had stuck, but as he moved across, the slightest of touches from Cook saw them both skate across the grass. With Aaron Smith a passenger, he very nearly wiped out Matt Neal's Honda as he rejoined the track, but managed to gather up his slide with some amazing car control. The shuffle promoted Collard back to the lead ahead of Neal, Jordan, Shedden and the delayed Cook and Smith, who found himself needing to defend his spot from a determined Aidan Moffat. Neil snatched the lead from Collard at Redgate with two laps to go, with the opportunistic Jordan seizing full advantage to follow him through into second shortly after. Shadden would similarly demote Collard to pinch third before the chequered flag. Wave yellows at the final chicane for Dave Newsham's stricken Chevrolet scuppered one of Jordan's potential passing opportunities, so Neil took a controlled finish across the line to become the BTCC's first double winner of 2015. Shadden gave Honda even more cause for celebration by coming home third behind Jordan, ahead of Collard, Moffat, who took the flag half on the grass, Aaron Smith and Cook. When the dust settled, we caught up with one of the stars of the race and the new kid on the block, Josh Cook. So, Josh, second uh, round of your touring car career, and it's been a great one for you, hasn't it? Yeah, we've got a lot of positives to take away again from this weekend. Um, you know, the outright pace in qualifying was, you know, positive. You know, to, to qualify sixth was great. Um, you know, the, the race pace seemed good. Um, just a shame about that race three incident because, you know, I thought we'd, uh, we were, we were going to be on for a win there. Looking forward to the next round, Thruxton, your home event. So that's going to be a big one for you, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Um, Thruxton's, you know, not too far for, from me. So, you know, it's kind of my home event, although I haven't actually done that many laps around there. But, um, you know, racing there in Clio's, um, yeah, I've always, you know, seemed to be able to drag a good time out of the car. But, yeah, we, you know, we're looking for some consistency and I want to try and get back up onto that, onto that podium. It's a very different challenge for you and for all of the drivers as well. A very, very fast circuit and a circuit that's traditionally very tough on its tyres. Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, obviously we don't have to run the soft tyre there, which is going to be nice. Um, but you know, it's. Um, I think the, the BMR cars are going to be faster. The Passats are very quick in a straight line, but you know, our uh, you know Power Max Chevrolet Cruze isn't isn't too bad down the straights either. So you know, I'm hoping they're going to be uh, be able to compete there. And you know, the, the chassis's been great, and you know, it's credit to the team really that what they've managed to do. You know, only being two meetings old. Is it all about power at Thruxton? Yeah, so it does, you know, there's some long straights there. Um, you know, it's not everything, but it's going to play a big part. So I think, you know, we've got got a good good uh, power plant. We've got the Swindon engine. You know, we've got a good chassis with the uh, with the Chevrolet Cruze that the Powermax guys have sorted for us. So, you know, we, we're definitely going to be in with a shout and I'm going to be as committed as I was this weekend. Well, we've seen some fantastic racing here at Donington. What can the fans expect? More of the same when we get to Thruxton? Oh, for sure. You know, I think with all the uh, bumping and rubbing, and, you know, us touring cars, that's, that's why we're here. That's why we watch it. And, you know, it's great to be uh, sat behind the wheel and getting stuck in with all the big names. So, yeah, I want to do that again and make sure that we can, you know, put on some uh, a good show for the fans. See you there. Thank you.